Hey everybody, Stephen Ho here, and this is our second episode of my selections for the renovations that I'm doing. So last time we talked about the bathroom selections we made, the tiles, the reasons why behind it. So this time we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the flooring selection that we've made, uh, the countertops, and some of the trim that we're doing around the house, around the doors, and things like that. So first of all, we have our 7-inch Tuscan baseboard trim this is going to be around all the rooms around the entire house so it's going to give a lot of height in the baseboards which will give it this elegance and uh, a feeling of luxury now to round off the bottom we have the uh, shoe mold which just sits on top that gives it a little bit extra oomph now this is going to sit on top of the wood floors that we have. Uh, the wood floors that we have, uh, this is an eight inch plank uh, live edge type of wood. I'm not sure if you can see the colors, uh, but you can see the texture. You can even see some of the, uh, it looks like a saw has gone through it to cut it. You can sort of see it. I'm not sure if uh, the camera is doing it much justice. But if you can see, there is a lot of live edges. The color is light and airy because the my townhouse is a little bit dark. So I wanted to keep everything bright and light as much as possible. So uh, with this wood, I really loved it when I saw it. Um, and it's really going to keep the space nice and airy. The next thing is that we wanted to match kind of the countertop with the floors. That's something we wanted to keep in mind. So the grain that we chose uh, is a lighter grain. You can sort of see uh, there's a little bit of uh, marble, like a dark marble, but it's very light. It's not as uh, dark and, uh, and apparent uh, because we want to hide some of the imperfections or some of the dirt when we're working around in the kitchen. Uh, people won't really notice it too much. Same with the floors. You're not really going to scratch it up with your pets. You're not really going to uh, have to sweep it every day because glossier floors or finishes, you're going to see every piece of dust that shows up, which is constant. The next thing is uh, the floors here. Uh, we chose, this is for the front foyer and the powder room in the front of the house. You can see it's a lot more uh, darker and the accents are really just a lot more punching out because I want to make a statement. When you come into my house, it's going to speak to you. So when you come in, you know, that's the first thing you notice and then the rest of the house uh, is very bright and airy and very clean because that's how I envisioned it. I want it to be clean, simple, nothing too fancy, but definitely pieces that will stand out. So the next thing is we have this shiplap, which is just big panels that looks like sort of like hardwood, but imagine being in a boat. Um, you'll see strips of this that goes across. If you haven't looked at it, or if you don't know what it is, look it up. Uh, it, it's sort of like a nautical theme. We're going to have this in the powder room with some nautical type of hardware pieces. This is also going around my fireplace where the TV is going to be, as well as the uh, dining room feature wall. This is also, I don't know if it's a bit much shiplap, but this is also going to be my built-in headboard. Yeah, for the for my master bedroom this is going from floor to ceiling all the way across uh, the bed we got two pendant lights coming down from either side with switches and chargers uh, it also has a little niche so i can put my phone or my alarm clock things like that um, maybe the book i'm reading or whatever uh, so, because i don't have that much space so i don't have really a nightstand uh, for my room but uh, we'll go into that more detail when uh, we go into the house and I'll bring you guys in. So the last thing is the trim for the door. Nothing too crazy. I don't even know what this is called, but uh, it looks kind of nice. So that's it for now. We have uh, a lot more coming up. Uh, the, we have finished up closing on the main floor now. We've started on the basement framing. 
The upstairs is about 90% done. All the floors are in. They're finishing up the trim. The doors are, are in. And then you just got to finish up the bathrooms, put in the vanities, which I'll bring you guys in, and the hardware. So we'll see how that goes. And until then, we'll see you in the next one.